All right, welcome back to uh, Epic Michael Rat uh, featuring Oswald the Brain Dead AI. Um, yeah. Uh, nice, nice Harry. Very nice. <laughs> okay, yeah. So, um, I I do remember doing this section with my brother, like, um, like this maze puzzle thing. Um, don't remember how this exactly works, but um, yes. I'll try to be a bit <laughs> nicer to the game today, because uh, I, I do feel like I was a bit too much of a Debbie Downer in the, in the last session, so I'll give this game a fair shake. If I don't like it by the end of it, then I don't like it, but I'll, I'll give it um, a fair shot. Harry can't be a Debbie Downer. He has to be a happy Harry. Uh, yeah, I don't remember exactly how to do this. Oswald, where are you going? I don't... I don't know what he's doing. Is he hitting on you? Oh, that's moving that around. Okay, right, okay. Oh, it's spinning a wall. See ya. I see that fellow over there. Um, so yeah, I think most of the, most of this uh, session is probably going to be talking about the direct because uh, I haven't actually heard what these what these uh, guys think about it yet. So I'm kind of curious because uh, I thought it was pretty good. I I think there was a lot of uh, fluff, but like the the things that were good were like really good. <laughs> My mind's a little hazy on the direct, but it was uh, besides a few things. Right. I mean, obviously, the first thing I would talk about is the Xenoblade stuff. Right. But as the only person here who's played the game... <laughs> yeah, a, a lot of that went over my head. I was like, oh, Shulk. <laughs> Shulk, Rex, um... I know I saw um, Albus. Mm, yeah, I, I didn't notice that. I'm gonna have to look at the trailer again, but... I, I've heard that, like, yeah, apparently Alvis is the... Yeah, he was like the, what's it called? He was like that, he was like the thing in the, in the, in the bright light. Hmm. Oh, God. But, yeah. <laughs> I bet just seeing Shulkin out and, and all that, I was like, oh, cool. <laughs> that, yeah, that was interesting, because I always, I assumed that, like, Xenoblade 3 was like, or, like, centuries later, so... I don't think it's centuries later. I don't know what what the time gap is, but... I mean, assuming, assuming their timelines are accurate, like, just going by how... Just, go, just going by Giga Chad Rex. <laughs> because he... Because he looks like he just... Because he looks like... He looks like he aged, like, another 15 years. <laughs> mm. I didn't realize that was Rex, honestly. He's, oh, he's God, also using, he also has, um, uh, Rex also is using both a Pyra and Mithra's Aegis Sword dual, dual wielding. Hmm. Like, it's more obvious that he's holding the Mithra's sword in his left hand. Yeah. Yeah. Regardless, I, as the only one who's played Xenoblade 3, I can't really talk about much. Hmm. So we can't. So that's pretty much all I can say. Yeah, I, I, I haven't even gotten the expansion yet for Xenoblade Three, just because um, I had other priorities. Right. But that's definitely getting my. That's definitely making me at least consider buying it soon. Yeah, I um, I've deliberately been trying to avoid spoilers. So. The Xenoblade. Yeah. Good. And I and you know me, I won't. I, 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 I respect that, so I will not talk about that. That's right. Um... I... Uh, we'll just get DLC stuff out of the way quickly. DLC stuff, uh, um... 
like, um, I know that, like, another thing they talked about was, we're getting, they, 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 they gave a sneak peek at the next uh, wave for Mario Kart 8. Oh, yeah, they gave us, that there was, like, Yoshi's Island you... and, um, a bird. Oh, that was the character. I'm like, holy shit, they're actually adding characters? Yeah. Although, that's also gonna put a high box. And I was gonna see if it's not a Wait, what? What was that, Scrappy? Pardon me? You said something and you kind of, it sounded, it kind of mumbled. Oh. I was, I went to the bathroom and I had my, I guess I didn't, I didn't mute myself, I guess. I didn't mute myself, so I guess you heard, like, just my, my door opening. Oh. I heard, well, I, we talked, I talked about Xenoblade for a second while not talking about Xenoblade. But that was, that was also good, I trapped myself. Um, I heard Zeo Blade like for a moment that made me think of Power Rangers. So uh, <laughs> that after after that we were because I decided I just said we might as well get all the DLC discussion out of the way now because like I said Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is doing what they just the sneak peek for the next wave. I think this game is going to be in spring. I think. Well, they're, well, they're doing pretty good with the with, with releasing it every like. Like uh, the DLC, like at a pretty good rate. Yeah. <laughs> because um, we almost because like we're, there's we we got four, eight, twelve, sixteen. We still got quite a few more tracks to go, but yeah, we're only halfway there. Halfway there. Halfway there. <laughs> halfway there. Oh wait. Oh, I'm so, okay, that's what I'm supposed to be doing. I did, for some reason, I didn't think I could bait the holes. <laughs> um, I, well, I said, like, if they're going to add Birdo as a playable character, I'm like, well, you, you're now basically making it, like, giving everybody more high, more expectations. <laughs> uh, D Diddy Kong or Boss, that's all I'm going to say. Yeah, I was going to say Diddy Kong. What's well, that? You want to the paratrooper? Okay. God, like I, I don't care who who else they add. I I just want Diddy Kong in the game because, like, he, it it just doesn't feel or right. Like we're in Queen D. God, Honey Queen. Yeah. yeah, I'm that guy, Honey Queen. It's um, yeah. but like yeah. if Yoshi's are, I think the Yoshi's are one is supposed to be a completely original course too. <laughs> it, I, yeah, I mean, I haven't played Tor, but I, it looks original. Um, like it looks very stylized as well. Yeah, <laughs> how much you want to bet they're gonna add it in Tor? Probably. I mean, like they've done it for like every other track. How do I get? Well, that's, chest? Well, that's every, no, well, the thing is that's every. Well, no, that's from Tor. Well, yeah, yeah, but I mean, like, um. The uh, track, I mean, like the tracks that um, weren't in tour, but the they were like added. They were added to well, the booster pass before. There, there were like some tracks that were added to the booster pass before they were added to tour. Um, as well, I guess Sky High Sunday was the only one. Uh, maybe. Um, I'm not sure. Speaking of which, you wait. You actually got to you actually got to the DLC points every day, right? Some of them, yeah. Which one did you cheat? Which one did you remember liking the most? Um, it's a bit okay. That doesn't work. Um, it's a bit too early to say, but um, I do like the changes to Calamari Desert and um, Peach Gardens. You mean how the fact that the last lap is going backwards? Yeah, and like you go, you go through the train tracks in like one of the laps in. Uh, in the in desert. I don't know about Peach. I don't know about the Peach Garden, but I heard that the that's what they do in Calamari Desert and Tour. <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, presumably everything that they every change is from Tour. Right. I mean, it's one way to plainly reuse your assets. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try something. Um. God, cause like I like so many of this. Uh, I, like. I and mean, when you're playing it, you don't really think too much about it, like, how, like, like, cause like, I know a lot of people are more complaining about how, how they look more than how they play. Yeah, I, I've noticed that a lot, and I, like, I gotta be honest, after playing it, I don't see the problem. I think they look fine. Mm, they maybe, look fine. 
the tor the tor the the the, the booster port the booster pass courses. Yeah, I, I don't really see the issue, personally. Well, I guess it's more of a if you stop and look at it kind of problem. A little bit. Some of them definitely look worse than others, I'll definitely say that, but, um... More evident in wave one. Yeah. I like, because, really, like, yeah. I'll admit, I will agree, because, like, um... I think, I forget whose video I saw, was it Silk, was it was Silkahawk or, um, or Arlo? I think they said something about, like, the first courses being, having a lot of flat colors and textures. Something like that, yeah. And I, I can kind of notice that, but at the same time, I don't care. <laughs> yeah. I just want to. I just want a fun course. <laughs> I think I might just have to leave that chest. I don't know how to get that. Um, but yeah, screw. I'm just gonna leave. <laughs> but anyways, actually, has Scrappy played the DLC? <laughs> if he even has eight. <laughs> oh. Do, do I even play games? Huh. I hope so. That's, uh, that's why I put you on my Switch family. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know where my Switch is. I think my brother has it. I need to steal it. <laughs> I want to play me some Game Boy Advance. <laughs> I must steal my own property. Huh. Yeah, like Sly Cooper. True. Yeah, right. Um, anyway, the other DLC thing I remember they talked about was, uh, the Fire Emblem Engage stuff. Right, I have- I keep on forgetting that game came out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, a little bit. Like two weeks ago, yeah. which I'm, honestly makes me more surprised that they already re released the second wave. Yeah, I, I don't- I, I don't know if this is true, but, um, Ma Maddie told me that apparently Engage was, like, almost pretty much done since- Three houses came out, which is interesting. <laughs> oh, oh, right. So she was in. She was. She was there for the rest of um, the, the last stream, wasn't she? Uh, during yesterday's stream, I believe. Yeah. All right. I saw her in chat. I was just a little too conked out to really join. I'm sorry. Right. Um. Yeah. That that uh, is interesting, though. Like, I I would. I wouldn't be surprised if that's the case because uh, Nintendo. Like, recently with like the Switch era, era specifically, have apparently been, like, uh, holding off on a lot of games. Like, they have a lot of games, like, ready, and they're just waiting for the right time to release them. Um, which mm. is prob <laughs> or probably also why Metroid, the, the, well, I mean, I'm kind of getting ahead of myself, but yeah. why the Metroid, the Metroid Prime Remaster was rumored for so long, because it was, like, probably one of those games where Nintendo just had ready for ages, but they took their time releasing it for whatever reason. Uh. Um, I mean, I I I have a I have a sneaking suspicion that ha that it has a lot to do with like Prime 4's progr uh, progress, and they want to release that um, at a good time to keep like the the Metroid momentum going, if you will. Well, yeah, no, like, I'm definitely, like, this is definitely supposed to be a holdover. Yeah. Um, I... I yeah, that's why you don't announce new games until they're freaking ready. Yeah. <laughs> Although, that said, I also got the Engage DLC after that. <laughs> right. I feel like... I don't know, I... I've been in one of so far. <laughs> I would like to think that if it is true that Prime 1 was, like, finished a long time ago, I would like to think that in the time since then, they've uh, done remasters of like Prime Two and Three, and the those are like maybe later this year or next year. Maybe mm. I'd like to think that because I I would prefer the whole trilogy to be on the Switch before Prime Four. I'm trying. I want. I need to get remaster. It's like it's also forty bucks, but I think it's honestly a fair price. It's also very alien for Nintendo, because they don't usually do that. Yeah, right. But it is nice, <laughs> yeah. It's an interesting anyway. thing they did as well, because, like, uh, it's like, they don't usually uh, drop, like, super big bud like, tri like, triple-A releases, like, um, and just shadow drop it. <laughs> like, it's like, it's out today. <laughs> right. I need... 
I guess we're moving on to the remaster because, like, uh, I don't remember any more DLC they were talking about and during the direct. Uh. uh. Um. Because, like, I still. It was like. It is definitely a good sign to come, especially since I've heard nothing but good things about it. What, Prime. the Prime remaster? Mm hmm. Yeah. Then, like, repaint Hobbs, like. Metroid Spark, if you will. Yeah. It is nice that the uh, Switch is bringing back a lot of uh, Metroid, the Metroid uh, hype, if you will. Mm. Let me replay Dread. Yeah, I think about it. Yeah. The heck is this? Let's see. Um, what uh. else was there? Um, well, I guess we'll say Tears of the Kingdom for later. Yeah, that can be saved for later. Um, I think I, um, I didn't completely see the entire direct because I was at work and I just kind of forgot to look back at it. I do remember something like they're announcing like a, I think they're, I think they're re-releasing, uh, Ghost Trick. I think so. Yeah, Ghost Trick from Capcom. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I guess yes, I, I am I, here. <laughs> I'm like, that immediately caught your interest. Like, are you interested in that? Or have you played it? I've heard of it for a decade now, I just... Remembered it. And I've seen like it re-referenced like all the time. I just I I only, I only knew vaguely what it was. Mm. Cause like it's definitely one of those games that sticks out just from its art style alone. Haven't I seen this exact same pinball machine before? I don't think I don't know. <laughs> Yeah. Maybe, maybe, maybe you're confusing with with the pinball machine in Birth by Sleep. <laughs> no, no, no. That was funny though. I don't know what I'm doing. I mean, cause like, okay, anyways, like, all I do about the ghost trick thing, like, I do kind of want a chance to finally experience it properly myself, cause like, they're always glancing at it like a video or something that that, that might have shown up on my feed, but I never actually looking at it. Hmm. Yeah. Just looking at. That. I also know that the that the that the, that the, that the main female lead um, it ha has dies in like the most stupid ways. <laughs> In fact, I, I found an awkward zombie comic the, like the other day about that. Hmm. <laughs> Where it's like, it's like, when I say she dies in the most dumb ways, it's like, because apparently she dies very often. <laughs> and it's just up to Cecil to constantly fix it. Hmm. The awkward zombie comic was like, she spilled a drink on herself. She just shoots herself. <laughs> God. And she's like, hey, and she's like, hey, can you stop this from? Okay, can you stop? Hey, stop me from spilling my drink on myself. <laughs> nice. It's pretty good. Yeah. Um, I actually did see some a thing where like a guy, a few people were uh, playing the game and uh, voice acting it live. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> And the thing is, um, uh, I saw a few things that just, like, her, the third way she died is really dumb. It's like, she just walks into a room and there's, like, this Rube Goldberg machine, like, just set up for Grey to kill her. Huh. Nice. And she, just, you know, and she just stands there like an idiot watching it happen. She's a detective, by the way. <laughs> you want to see your favorite right? mode? I'm just hoping, I'm also just hoping it goes better than the, um, uh, World End with you re-release. Oh, World End with you, right. I have that, but I still only remember playing more than like more, just because of the, uh, controls. <laughs> no! What the hell? What am I supposed to do when the ball goes down here? Kiss your ass goodbye. I don't- <laughs> I don't think this was very well thought out. Just saying. Uh, 
time. Let's see what else was there during the red. Um, Harry. Oh, I, oh yeah, I remember something now. They finally the Adva advance wars. Right, that's finally get, yeah. <laughs> that's finally coming out. Yeah, because like that was announced like what two years ago. Something like that. And obviously, real world. It was probably real world events that got super delayed. Yeah, yeah. The game's been done for the game's been done for for ages. But yeah, and it was just, but releasing it would have been bad timing apparently. Uh, yeah, it's like uh, the is it, it's like because of the the war in Ukraine and all that. Yeah. And we'll, we'll just hope it actually gets the credit deserved because of that. Let's hope it actually comes out this time. Yeah. Anyways, you you oh, is that creeper from Black Cauldron? Maybe. Huh? I, I didn't notice. I don't know. I haven't seen Black Cauldron. Me neither. Oh my god, no, no, don't don't fall. You tell me. So you see the... Sorry, Gabby, go ahead. I'll have to see the, the, the head likeness again. I think it's him. Mm. So, Alright, so tell me something else about the direct against and I don't I didn't do the whole thing. I just skinned through it. Uh, like what? Stuff in the direct. Um, oh, I take something out. Um, I mean, though. Okay. Retro is still missing. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, sir. Retro Studios is. Retro Studios is still missing, but I guess you could figure that out. Hmm. Well, I mean, on the uh, helping with the the Prime thing. They're make. You mean a remaster of Prime One? I have no idea. Right. I, yeah, I don't know, I, th there's like a lot of videos about like, um, the stuff they've tried, they tried making, uh, after, uh, um, well, not just after Tropical Freeze, but just in general, um, I don't, I don't know if like, all, oh, bruh, can I like, okay, <laughs> I thought I was getting stunlocked for a second, um, Should we enter the elevator? I don't know if like, all the, um, projects got shot down, but like, you know, I, that's one thing about Retro Studios that's always been a bit, yeah, is the fact that like, it feels like they take like forever to make one game. At least their games are a quality. Obviously, I'm not defending the long way. I'm just saying at the very. I'm just saying at least saying it's been paying off for the most part. Yeah, it's just like. Oh no, it's interesting because apparently, um, I don't know. I could be talking out of my ass, but like, I remember hearing that Tropical Freeze, um, not necessarily had like a crunch period, but the, the they um. Apparently, uh, a lot of the game still needs to be made when they needed it to be out soon or something like that. I could be wrong, but... I'm sorry, I missed that. What did you say, Harry? Are you really singing there? <laughs> it hardly sound like a song. Just... Yeah, right. He was, he was singing. Oh my gosh, it's Catchwork from Final Fantasy! No, Catchwork is smaller, and I'm not gonna show you. <laughs> I, you. I see. Yeah, I don't know. I, I could be wrong about that, but like, I remember hearing that, like, uh, Tropical Freeze had, like, some development issues. I don't know. Which is uh, funny because of how good that game actually is, but. That's. In a, a troubled development does not equate necessarily to a bad game, it's just... No, it doesn't, it's just... It, it's just kind of... Yeah, no, you're right, because Prime was also like that. Yeah, it, it's just kind of incredible to me, it's like... Uh, like... Like, how good a game can, like, um... Uh... End up being, despite... Um... How, like... Problems in the de development cycle. Yeah, Retro's track record is good because they cancel all their bad games. 
Yeah. You can't fail if you only attempt, if you only try multiple, if you only try a certain amount of times. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, um... Yeah, after we- after hearing, like, the, hearing more about the- the sh the Sheik game or whatever, they were, like, try they were trying to make, like, the, um, actual gameplay they had in mind just did not sound good. <laughs> what they have in mind? Uh... You're better off watching the Digino Gaming, because I don't remember, like, offhand, but it sounded like- it, it was, like, a very, uh, generic, um gameplay system that uh, I, I think Nintendo saw it and it was just and they said like well no they, they were, I think they were like really this is like this is what you have and it's like yeah th this is not this is not good <laughs> okay where's the real game <laughs> yeah where's the real game <laughs> <laughs> Imagine it being like an April Fool's prank. Yeah. So it's like now. I don't know what I'm doing, by the way. I'm just kind of doing things. That's fine. Um. Anyways, uh, direct. What other things were there? Uh, Game Boy. Oh, oh, we might as well get the big one. Yeah. <laughs> that was the what? Okay. I'll say this right now, since we've already mentioned Prime, uh, that and the Game Boy stuff were the two major things that gave me the biggest reaction. Cause like we finally got the Game Boy. We finally got Game Boy on Switch. Yeah, cause it's been like <laughs> quote unquote leaked for ages. <laughs> it's like it's about freaking time. Yeah, right. I'm just. It's also nice for me because I get to play a bunch of games that I missed out on. Um, and I, and I get to play a lot of games that I never got to play, or or I got to re-listen games I got to play so, so long time long ago. Hmm. Is I that? Is that Mario. Huh? I should try Mario Land too. Oh, you never played it? I should. Yeah, I'm not that old. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I guess, give... I guess to be fair, I, I played it for the first time like last year. I should get back to play. I should get back to playing War uh, Warrior Land Three right now. <laughs> yeah, that is one game. I, um, that is one game uh, that I I want to play because I never I, outside of Shake It. I've never. What am I doing with this ball? Outside of Shake It, a Warrior Land game. I never played uh, any of the Warrior 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 Land games besides Shake It. And, um, I know people really like 3 and especially 4, so I'm excited to play those. Well, assuming, like, what, is, uh, is 4 on the GBA? GBA. Yeah. Okay, I, I assume they'll add it at some point. Uh... I'm, oh, okay, I was gonna say, I have no idea if I'm doing this properly. <laughs> Okay, so we have to find balls. All right, cool. <laughs> so I was gonna say I I, I didn't I, I had no idea what we were trying to be doing. So like that's good to know, I guess. Um. Anyways, uh, yeah, where where you land? Um, that uh, a lot of the a lot of the Zelda games on Game Boy and GBA, I've I'm excited to uh try for the first time. Oswald, where the heck yeah, are you? Yeah, they're since they're also releasing um uh, what's it called. I know. Fuck. What was it? But they, they announced a bunch of stuff already for it's coming to its service. Uh, I remember Golden Sun, uh, the Oracle games, Amazing Mirror. Uh, I don't know what else. Hmm. Trying to remember. Oh god. Um. Fuck. What was it? Fuck. Yeah, fuck. I was gonna do. Hang on. Yeah, I'm looking forward to trying out Golden Sun though, because uh, I I know that's like uh, a Fire Emblem. They said they're gonna do Fire Emblem. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, the, 
Golden Sun has like a a cult following, if you will. So I'm interested to try that series out for myself and see what the fuss is about. Um, the ones they show on the thing, Metal Metric Fusion. Oh um, yeah, yeah. Will be the new Metal Fire and F Zero Maximum Velocity and Golden Sun. The ones that they mainly show. I assume Zero Mission is going to be there at some point as well. For the Game Boy, put the Game Boy online. And it's uh, both Oracle games, Pokemon trading card game, and Kirby Trip and Tumble. I hope they bring in Pokemon Pinball Ruby and Sapphire. <laughs> yeah. I'm serious. Huh. I'm neat. Uh, I grew up playing Pokemon and a pinball. It does the original. Remind me, is Metroid Prime Pinball on the DS or the GBA? Yes. DS. DS, dang it. That'll be really funny. God, do not tempt me to turn on my Switch right now. <laughs> I will if you I will if you if you persuade me. <laughs> I feel like I'm just going in circles. What the heck am I doing? <sighs> Sorry. Now we wait for Oswald to get up here. <laughs> you good, my dude? Alright. Oh, thanks for freeing me. I don't know what happened. I was exploring the gulch when something hit me from behind. And I woke up in that cage. It ruined my whole morning, it did. But since you rescued me, let me help out, my friend. I can shut this down for you. There. <laughs> Thanks again for getting Sorry, out. Sorry, I thought I was going to do it. Alright, cool. Okay, how do I... Oh. That's fucking... <laughs> I really just want to keep playing Warrior Land right now. <laughs> I want to play Insane Trilogy again, it's been too long. What? the way! Why is it based to me? How do I... Uh, where, where are we and why are we here? Um... Do you want the short answer or the long answer? Short. We're here because Harry's playing a game. <laughs> I don't understand how to get this ball off this, like, platform. I'm not even looking at the footage right now, my stomach hurts, like, what the heck? <laughs> Just the sound of commentary makes me not nauseous. <laughs> well. Wow. The voice clips of Mickey Mouse make me motion sick. <laughs> what the heck? I, I sincerely hope you're joking. <laughs> I'm not gonna answer that. <laughs> So like when you uh, when you watch a Mickey cartoon, you just like have a Throw heart, up. heart attack or something. I just every time I see his soulless pie eyes, I just recede into the shadows. <laughs> so. I don't know what I'm doing to be honest. <laughs> How do I get this? Like what the heck? <laughs> Wait. Wait. What? Oh, what? I can just walk in here. Okay. How do I get this ball out? <laughs> 